The N-Wave District Cooling System in the City of Chicago is one of the most advanced, reliable, energy-efficient cooling systems in the world. This integrated network of five interconnected plants provide over 105,000 tons of cooling capacity, serving 118 customers, totaling over 48 million square feet of space. By utilizing ice thermal storage, the system has reduced the district's peak utility demand by over 30 megawatts. By making ice at night, off-peak, the system helps balance the downtown utility load. This strategy also provides substantial cost savings since utility rates are much lower at night during off-peak hours. Thanks to ice thermal storage, the plants require a fraction of the space of a traditional chilled water storage plant. This is a critical advantage of ice thermal storage, especially in an established urban environment like Chicago where space is at a premium. With five plants distributed throughout the downtown area, the system also provides critical redundancy. Any building in the network can be served by any of the cooling plants in the system for unmatched system-wide reliability. How does ice thermal storage work? Let's take a look inside plant number two, the Franklin and Van Buren Street plant. The foundation of the plant is a huge water tank, over 100 feet long, 90 feet wide, and 30 feet high. Inside are over 435 miles of tubing, spread out among 434 coils. At night, when energy costs are at their lowest, the system runs cold glycol through the pipes, causing ice to form around them. Every night, the system generates up to 10,400,000 pounds of ice on the coils, providing a cooling capacity of 315,000 ton-hours. During the day, warm water from buildings throughout Chicago's downtown district flows through the ice thermal storage unit. The ice stored on the coils cools this water to 34 degrees Fahrenheit, just above freezing, before sending it back to provide cooling. The system itself is brilliant in its simplicity. At night, during the ice building phase, the refrigeration system with evaporative condensers cool glycol to sub-freezing temperatures. The glycol is pumped through the pipes in the storage tank, forming ice around them. During the day, warm water flows from the systems in buildings in the network. The refrigeration systems with evaporative condensers cool this water to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. After being chilled, the water flows through the storage tank, where the ice provides substantial cooling to 34 degrees Fahrenheit. With the water coming out of the system at such a low temperature, the entire network can utilize smaller pipes throughout, resulting in significantly reduced piping cost and pumping energy. The plant can provide 30,000 tons of cooling with only 16,000 tons of refrigeration equipment. It also means that buildings in the network can provide higher capacity cooling for their tenants, which helps keep the district competitive in today's demanding high-tech environment. This ice thermal storage district cooling system provides downtown Chicago with a highly efficient, cost-effective, reliable solution for their modern cooling needs. It's a practical way to provide downtown Chicago with a green cooling solution.